Yo, it's just another day in the park, you know, we just got these people outside Just kicking it on the bench, having a little picnics and whatnot You see the guys over the corner, with their buds and middle lights and whatnot And on the other side, you got them playing basketball, you see I mean it You got the ladies over there slaving over a good meal, yeah Come out, kick and enjoy a little moment of a memory pose Around my people, giving up their problems like a free throw Resembling some b-ball hooping and shooting But not the type that bloody up sidewalks through a pollutant the Boosters boosting, a bootleg is distribution To sell our shit for a cheaper price, that's not a solution Cause you stealing money from me from helping communities I guess it's like, fuck that, cause this is who we be We chilling on the bitch, talking shit, scoping around the environment People setting up barbecues, busting out the tents I take a listen, these chicks up on the side of me is down to whoever this chick is named Kim I should call them Bonitas, cause they ain't the ones that gossip So I ain't heard it from them Why they talking, yo, they long overdue for a gym Fat, nasty, and who glad Hey everybody, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. Okay, so I have been late on the videos. I've been doing a lot of personal readings and doing them on Facebook and YouTube, so I haven't really gotten around, but water, you are my first, my last, my everything. Uh, my cancer signs, I appreciate your patience. Uh, I decided to do your reading on a rainy day because it is indeed rainy, watery, like your emotions, and I decided to capture the energy. It's the end of the Mercury retrograde. So I know you guys are feeling good about that. No more arrogant, arrogant attitudes, exes calling you back, people coming back from the dead trying to hit you up. No damn good people. Uh, a lot of negotiations probably have broken down, your car broken down, or having to convey a point to someone that's lost in translation is over. Or maybe not, you know, some people don't have a hard time communicating with the crab. Um, so let's get into your reading. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe for Sun, Moon, and Rising the Crab. All right, guys, I'm excited. Let's see what this reading is going to give us today. Let's look at this cancer, this beautiful cancer reading. We don't have what is the cancer energy for the end of November? We want to see what the crab has in store. What are we gonna get into? All right, that's too many. Give me three cards for the cancerian cancer people. Okay. Oh, I got a little more than three. I actually got five. Five is changing. So let's see what they got. Ten of Cups. Okay, so. We got some disappointments here. Some things did not turn out the way we hoped, didn't we? Now, maybe you had some family things that didn't go right. Maybe you are planning to do something for Thanksgiving, and maybe you guys had some type of family situation where um, your family couldn't invite you or you couldn't make it there. Um, there is some disappointments in your home life. Maybe you guys are having issues around the holidays. Maybe you were planning for a, a really different Thanksgiving that you really can't get right now because, again, things are not the way you hoped. Um, I do see here that maybe some kids are leaving home. Maybe you have a college student coming home from school, and they're going to leave, and you feel emotionally upset and stressed out. Um, for others of you, you're going to have to scale down a lot of things you buy in your lifestyle. Maybe you have some money issues, cancer. Or maybe you have some issues with some inheritances. Maybe you're fighting over an inheritance with your family, or maybe your house won't sell. Or maybe it's about your job. Maybe you don't feel secure in your position. You can also be meeting someone's family for the first time. Maybe they just don't share your values. It disappoints you. You made a choice in the hangman. And that's Neptune energy. So you have decided to look at a situation differently through your disappointment. Maybe in the past, because it is in the past position, the first card out. It could be about a past situation. But usually, you know, hey, man, you're letting go of things, making sacrifices. So maybe a disappointment had to happen for you to sacrifice something that really didn't help you or benefit you. And it turned your world upside down. So you're suspended. You're trying to find a, a direction that is completely uniquely right for you. And it can be hard to let go of certain things that you don't want to let go of. But um, you're going to have to sacrifice all the things that you were going through in your life that didn't work for you to make a better path. 
Um, but for the most part, you will be looking at things differently. Um, some of you guys are chasing the money. And that's really making your energy so focused on money, you don't enjoy your job and you actually deplete your money because you're so focused on what it will give you. You're not going after something you really, really like because you're disappointed because it just gives you what you can get. So you're just satisfied, but you're not satisfied. You're uncomfortable, but you're uncomfortable. So you're just sitting there. Um, now, some of you guys feel like you don't have to make a change. It's not the right time. You're not in a rush. You know you are disappointed. You're just sitting there chilling at your job. But you need to really look at what you really want to be in the long term because you're sitting in a box crab and it's just not good for you. Uh, relationships, you may be letting go of someone. Maybe they disappointed you in a relationship and you decide that it was just it. It's just not going to work out. And you are just tired of it going nowhere. The Three of Swords is an amazing card. It is the card of forgiveness. Maybe you just know that this is what it is and you accept it. And it's not as bad. I mean, you feel like it's not a very happy situation, but you do feel like the truth hurts and you can get on with your life. Maybe it wasn't a very deep relationship. You can have a lot of regrets about what has been. Maybe you're hurting, you're, you're, you're banging yourself up about bad decisions, but let go. Shit ain't really worth it. But for the most part, uh, maybe you learn from your mistakes or maybe you're getting over painful experiences. Um, I do believe, like, you're going to get over your situations in Three of Swords. I just feel like you're going to forgive someone. Um, the King of Wands is a very attractive man. I do think it could be a boss or a husband or a boyfriend. Um, Three of Pentacles, they just didn't cut it. They just didn't have what it took to keep you interested. Or they had, or you're having job issues. And this job that you're working with, with this boss, he, you're trying to cut your losses because the job has disappointed you. Maybe you just knew it wasn't going to work out. And maybe you just consistently keep grinding in a workplace that makes you feel like you're putting out less than your best. So you can't get ahead in a very competitive, you know, job environment, you know. Uh, but I do get Three of Pentacles. It's about mediocrity, someone being stuck. You know, they, they can't get past or they can't get through. So, you know, they're consistently trying. And it's just, again, I get a lot of, someone is definitely chasing money and disappointed. Um, Three of Pentacles can also be about insufficient experience. Uh, a person who needs to learn a lot more to get ahead. So if you're not, if you're in a work environment and you feel like you're not getting where you need to go, maybe you need to go back to school. Three of Pentacles is a relationship card. If you're in a relationship and Three of Pentacles is reversed, if your relationship is fucked up, you need to fix it. You cannot expect anything more if you're not putting anything in. Some of you guys have let the relationship run off track and just said, fuck it, I'm done. I don't want to be bothered. Some of you guys had a, a breakup with someone in your family and you're trying to see a situation differently. And the Three of Swords says, you're going to forgive them. And you're going it, to, it's, it's, it's a lot for you because maybe you have a pride issue. I don't see cancer as a fixed sign. Matter of fact, it's not a fixed sign. It's a cardinal sign. But I do feel like um, you just keep on trying to forgive someone or maybe you're contemplating on forgiving someone. Um, maybe you feel unappreciated in your relationships and you feel like people don't really give you what you give yourself or get to other people. And that's why you just like, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Cause I already know, like, I'm not going to be loved the way I want to be loved. Okay. So let's look at this. What is the three of pentacles? Okay. Our clarifier is four of cups. What is the three of swords? I agree. 33 master number. All right. We got another one. The strength card. What is the ten of cups reverse? Let me get, let me get one. Let me get one. Ten of cups reverse. You guys are doing so well with giving me one card for a clarifier. You gave me two this time. Queen of cups and two of swords. What is the hangman? For Cancerian. What is the hangman? Come on. Give me the hangman. Amen. All right, so we got the Ace of Pentacles. Now, this card kind of flew out. It means Page of Wands. Okay, so then let's look at the King of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo, guys. See Leo here twice. Um, I got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Two sides of the same pentacle because Gemini and Sagittarius are opposites. Okay, so underneath clarifying all of this is the Queen of Cups reverse and the Two of Swords. Now, the Queen of Cups reverse is a woman that 
appears on the surface to be really loving. You really can depend on her for intellectual and intuitive wisdom. And I don't say intellectual. I take that back because really the Queen of Cups is a woman that just sees things through her feelings. She feels her way around. So you just, you, you, she just knows intuitively, instinctively what is correct and what's going to happen. And you just really trust her because she's always right or she's never led you astray. Um, but she's reversed. She, she, she used to be that way. And now she ain't that way no more. She just don't fuck with you. Like she's bitter, hurt, resentful for what you've done. Or you could feel this way about this person. This is a cancer, so here you are, cancer reverse. You're being the devil right now. You're being uh, Capricorn. Um, two of Swords can be about bad decisions or a person who has made up their mind. So someone has made up their mind about you, cancer, and they just do not fuck with you at all. Like they are done with your bullshit and they don't want to hear it anymore. Uh, that could be a, a potential situation. Or maybe you made bad decisions at work and now you're going to have to sit there and really go through all the decisions that you've made and really think about what it is that you need to do. The two of swords is stalemates. Or a person moving in the wrong direction. Or a person who's trying to correct mistakes. Or a time for endings. So maybe you're trying to end something. Or maybe you're trying to forgive someone for a disappointment that happened in your life, Cancer. Um, Ace of Pentacles underneath the hangman. Someone that gives a lot and they don't get nothing in return. That's the name of fire. Ace of Pentacles, you're giving out a whole lot of money. Or some money is definitely being given out. Because Ace of Pentacles is a new venture. It's something new financially that you're excited about. It could be about an offer, an investment, a gain. It could be about a, a, a new beginning to a property or prosperity. You could be buying something like a house. Or you could be f uh, financially manifesting or securing for the future. Or you may have some grief and some stress. But for the most part, great things are coming. And maybe you didn't even plan on it. But it does say that some money could be coming your way underneath the hangman. So um, with the hangman and the ace of pentacles, somebody took a decision. Someone made a new beginning and it was for money or a business opportunity. Um, so that's where you are right now with this person. And then you got the page of wands, which I find very interesting. Um, the page of wands, that is about a person who does everything for everyone. They hold back, too. They're afraid of the unknown. They have a lot of insecurities. They have a lot of blockages. And they need to take greater control of their situations and be more articulate. But they put a lot of people first, and they become neglected, and then they become angry because they were so neglectful. Um, you can't expect people to give you what you give yourself. Always give yourself something. These motherfuckers don't give it to you. Then cut them the fuck off. Cancer is trying to hoard motherfuckers now. Now, the strength card is about aggression. Um, you could be uh, forgiving someone for being super aggressive. Very interesting. Um, or it's not that damn big of a deal to you. But I do get it's a big deal because it caused a heartbreak in the um, Three of Swords. So something was definitely devastating, but not too devastating. But devastating a motherfucking enough, you know. Um, the strength card is Leo. It's reversed. So it definitely dealing with Aquarian energy. Someone is probably not is being a pushover or someone is over relying on everything physical rather than mental or emotional. Um, they could be very like or someone could be just losing strength in the situation where I feel like being bothered. Someone could be stubborn in the in the um, strength car reverse or someone could just be really holding back. So it maybe you're making a decision that although you're hurt, you're going to hold back. You're not going, you're going to forgive and just kind of keep to yourself. Um, you do feel like you're heartbroken. You hold your emotions behind a tough facade. Um, the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So to me, I'm looking at this situation like you feel like somebody as is just flighty. Like it could be good news. Maybe you're reaching out to a Leo or a Sagittarius. It could be sun, moon, or rising, any of those signs. You could be reaching out to a business owner. Um, I do see two nights. That's about messages. So maybe you're reaching out. It, it goes from the night to the uh, source. That's, it was already fast, but now it's quick. Like you are like running over to someone. I don't know who this person is to you, but maybe it's a man or a woman with um, 
masculine energy, but the Knight of Wands is a, a fiery, competitive, hot-headed person. Someone that's always extroverted, they don't really start what they finish, but they have a really bad temper or they're immature or they're very impressionable, but they could be really theatric. Um, you, you forgive someone for being who they are. Um, Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So that's a DM. I get that's a direct message. Or it could be about a person who's very domineering. They're, they're very romantic or they have a rigid code of honor. Um, they charge fast into your life. They're very intimidating or they're very dominating. Um, they do things aggressively or they're a warrior or they like to turn adversity into opportunity or they're very controversial. But uh, you work with this person, uh, they disappoint you. You don't want to work with them anymore. Like three of pentacles, yeah, no. And then the four of cups, you're dissatisfied or disappointed with this person. You forgive them, but you're not really fucking with this person. Like you feel like they, I don't see any seven of swords here, but I definitely get some murky, irky energy. Okay, Cancerians, so let me know how you feel about your reading because this is crazy, all right? And I will get to you later. If you need any personal readings, feel free to email me or call my cell phone number for Sister Girl Readings. It's a business line, so you will get business-related interesting stuff, I will say. Um, I do do a lot a doo-doo. I'm sorry. I thought that was funny. Um, childhood humor. But I do a lot of... Um, readings for free, but they it's for specific people and specific reasons, like for like um, uh, what I, what I call it, like drawings. So try to reach my website at sistergirlreadings.com or try to hit up my personal page, Nicole Collins Dash Perry, or hit up Sister Girl Readings on um, Facebook. I also have an Instagram page. It's kind of mixed in business and personal, but you can reach me there as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming in for seeing our reading, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Hello, Scorpio. It's been a pleasure. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Um, I do read them, and I will comment back. Okay, so I'm doing a reading for you, Scorpio people. I'm sorry I was so late. I was doing some personal readings, um, some girls. Uh, I did Customer Appreciation Day, and whoever bought a reading consistently from the summertime till now got a free video reading, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I love doing readings, even for practice. Um, I've been doing readings for a while, but um, I, I've never had a person come back to me and say that I didn't touch their life in some way. So um, even though I don't have a big platform like some of the other readers, I am very, very knowledgeable. And what is real and what is knowledgeable will eventually be seen. So I'm just waiting for my moment. But until the time comes, I don't mind embarking some wisdom along the way to my Scorpion friends. And by the way, I am a Vedic Scorpio. Um... Vedic is basically astrology that is in real time. So instead of it being cut off by Western astrology, making certain dates a certain sign, it goes by what the real alignment of the planets are when you are born, your unique fingerprint at that particular time and space. In space, I am a Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn. So that's my placements. So pretty much, um, I have a lot, I will say that, um, I can feel or vibrate with the scorpion aspects. There, you know, I'm a Sagittarius, but there are some times where I feel and act like a goddamn Scorpio, and I don't feel no type of way about it, okay? So let's get into this reading. If you like this reading again, you know what to do. All right, and I'm taking personals too, so feel free to hit me up, y'all. Okay, let's look at the Scorpio's energy. I'm so excited. What is Scorpio's energy? Five of motherfucking wands. What else, Scorpio? Talk to me. Ooh, this is coming out one by one. Five of pentacles. Okay, so we got a lot of fives here. Scorpio for November. What is going on, my Scorpio friends? Oh, shit. It's just spurting out like word vomit now. Okay, those are a lot of cards. But I see you in your own reading, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, so I'll read the cards up right in reverse because, honey, sometimes you just got to go reversed. Okay, there's a lot of competition in the environment of the Scorpio. And I say that because in this picture, I'm not using traditional tarot. I use my own deck. Um, I actually use, I can't think, it's low, I can't pronounce the company, a low scribble or I, I don't know. 
um, I use this specific deck. I'll probably um, show it next time, and I'll show you guys. Or you guys have seen it before. Um, it's a somewhat inappropriate deck, I will say. But um, I'll, I'll find the name and put it in the, in the uh, link below. But anyways, Five of Wands is is this lady and this these two ladies are fighting over a man. You could be fighting over some dude, or you could be the dude fighting with another dude over a woman. There's so much competition between you and someone else. Could be a fire sign. Oh my God. There could be a lot of competitions and water and um, fire makes steam. That's my little joke on Instagram and Facebook. Like when you fight with the fire sign, you are definitely getting steam. Smoke is what they call it. There's a lot of bickering and people being selfish. A lot of lower vibrational energy. And a lot of discontentment, a lot of territorialism, a lot of arguments and competition and no one making compromises. So you may be dealing with someone that you have to compete against. And it's a nasty, brutal competition. You don't really know if y'all friends or enemies because Five of Wands is like, are we are we on the same team or are we fighting against each other? Like, what the fuck? Like, you don't even know where you stand. Like, if this was, like, a game, you'd be confused about, do I stand right here or, you know, am I fighting for the winning team or am I going, you know, you don't really know your position because it's kind of confusing. You have a lot of opposing energies that really irritate you and you feel completely stressed out. Um, you are just done. Done, 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 done. It's just over. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Um, the five of pentacles, um, maybe it's about money. Someone is fighting about money or financial situations. Um, someone could be very upset about the way they get paid, or maybe someone's in need of, a, I hate to say someone needs to fight or someone wants to fight. I hope not. That's very dramatic. Um, someone is trying to review what's happening in their life. They're at a low point or someone feels like giving up really. They're at the verge of just throwing in the towel. It could be legal situations or neglecting of your health. Maybe you feel like you're fighting to be well. Because Five of Pentacles is the person that's in need. It's the woman that's on the ground. She's like barely, she's scrounging for pennies. There's men all around her throwing money at her like she's in a strip club. Uh, maybe you have a mediocre job that doesn't pay you a lot of money. You feel like you have to compete for the money you do get. Um, or you're in a competition situation. But them two fives, a lot of change, a lot of change so you are definitely feeling the need to fight and you and you want your freedom with these two vibes it's a lot of instability a roller coaster ride things are happening a lot and you have important decisions to make now the scorpio has a seven of cups next to him he's tempted he's thinking about something there's many multiple options this person can take and they are definitely considering them they're contemplating what they really desire they're looking up. It's so many cups in front of this person, and they don't know which cup is the best cup. Really, no cup is the best cup. Um, that could be uh, Mercury, or I think it's Mercury in Scorpio. I'm not sure. But someone definitely feels like they, they, they definitely feel like they have trouble choosing which route they want to take. Um, they don't really know what to do. They're letting intuition kind of feel their way out. Or maybe there's a lot of um, blurry, you know, blurred lines. They don't know where they really what move to make or strike out in which direction. This can also be about a, a, a creative person who's trying to find a way to stand out amongst their competition. And they're waiting for what other people are going to do first in the King of Cups reverse. That's a person who is emotionally imbalanced, but they're waiting to see what you're going to do first. Um, the King of Cups is a, a Scorpio man. Reverse could be acting like a Taurus. Someone is very emotionally upset or insecure or defensive. Someone could be manipulative or controlling or um, someone has a stifled creativity. Someone lost something. Someone isn't thinking rationally. Someone is lazy or lost direction. Or someone has a power struggle, which is very, very prevalent in the Five of Wands. Someone feels like they're losing ground, and they feel like they have to be very secretive and duplicitous to get ahead. Someone feels insecure, and someone is afraid to express their emotions. But they're going to have an emotional breakthrough. They're going to fight it, though. Ace of Wands and Five of Wands, they're going to fight it. 
because they feel like they don't want to go that deep or they don't want to get that deep or maybe they feel like they're happy or content with not living in their truth because it hurts so bad to just you know when you when you're going through something it hurts more to make a breakthrough because you got to face all that shit that you were bowling down that you thought was done and over with and now you got to address it and that's harder sometimes because you got to look at yourself too and now you got to put yourself on the forefront like you put these other motherfuckers out there and you don't want to do that shit you got to it, it comes a time where a person got to look in the mirror and say yeah these motherfuckers did me but what did i do you know someone is being emotional Someone's having difficult decisions. Someone is always looking to see what someone else is going to do. They're tempted to make a move, but they're not making any moves because they're watching other people's reactions. Someone is being very spiteful or vengeful, and someone is very upset, and they're very spiritually influctuated. So they're they're like a Libra with the scales not even turned over. It's just like laying on the ground, locked over. You just no. If you were a Scorpio and it was water in those damn scales, your ass would be it'd be on the carpet somewhere, dried up. No, it'd be watery because you're still emotional about it. Okay. It also says that you are really spiritually usually centered, but now you got instability in your life. You just reacting or you want to react. Now that ace of swords is gonna cut you because you're gonna have a breakthrough whether you want it or not. Now sometimes everybody breakthrough ain't the same. Now, some people's breakthrough is about, you know, going through different situations, going through new mental projects, someone that wants to be a leader, someone that's trying to gain potential, someone that wants to fight, someone that wants to be seen or recognized, someone that's being a warrior, or someone that just wants to elevate to a higher plane of being a sage or a, a reader or someone that is, instead of getting back, their breakthrough is through spirituality. That can also be the Ace of Swords, okay? So you could be thinking about going into something deeply spiritual. Instead of turning that negative energy to people, you're going to go and do your own thing spiritually. You could use your mental, intellectual, spiritual growth to help people in a very con clear, concise way and devote yourself to goals to help other people break through and people are inspired by your actions. You can also be sharing ideas with people, enjoying very, convers uh, very lively and... Um, in, uh, intellectual conversations, they could be very deep, but you'll be, um, spending time with someone that really teaches you a lot about yourself. Okay. The King of Wands, very good card. I like it. Um, you may be in the public eye or you may be dealing with, um, a man who is a fire sign could be Leo. This could be someone's business owner, but they can be someone that is usually someone you trust or rely on. Or someone that is a wise, competent and uh, you know leader. Uh, good things come when he comes around. Something will pay off, or maybe it'll be a promotion. If you're talking about work, um, or maybe you're going out with people that you know they're very uh, they're very passionate or lively, or you're affectionate about them. Um, three of Swords underneath the Five of Pentacles. So you're gonna forgive. It's not the worst. The worst isn't over. Like, you're, you're not really faced. I mean, you are upset or emotionally upset about whatever's going on. But in the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, I mean, it's like, it's not the worst thing in the world. This could also be job-related if you are an artist or someone that's creative. You could be very, you're trying to stand out and you have a breakthrough. Maybe you find a way to go in a different approach. And you become um, this very um, uniquely powerful person spiritually. And I do see that um, you come out of a situation where you're no longer scrounging for pennies. You could have been a starving artist and now you're on the up and up. That three of swords can be about a person, um, in my opinion, they are, the circumstances are not really bad. There's a lot of disorders. There's tears that are hurt. Someone is very upset. But um, it'll be a peacemaking situation. Um, Eight of Pentacles is about business, working together. So someone may be um, not wanting to work with someone else. They're like, nah, I don't want to work with you, fam. You know, I'm good. Um, someone like, nah, nah, you, you're not good for business. Or I don't, I'm burnt out. Or I feel like I'm squandering my talents working in this environment. But you're going about things the wrong way. It's not that what you feel is invalidated. You just need guidance. You need to proceed the proper way and not be so worried about false senses of security or you shouldn't be so far, so nearsighted into what you're going through. 
Okay, um, you're worried about your family and a ten of cups and emotionalism. So it's not that bad. Okay, so work situations are not the best, and your family, things did not work out the way you hoped in your family or relationship life. But I mean, let's see what the three of swords is. Five of pentacles and the three of swords. Let's see. Um. The Empress. You could be dealing with a, a baby mama or a Taurus or a Libra. Someone that you were dating or someone that had a title. So um, you guys could have a girl child or you could be trapped with this person. Um, they make you feel like you're mentally stuck with them or you feel stuck or trapped. There's a woman running from a man in this car. Like she's trying to run and there's a guy behind the guy that's chasing her and he's like watching but not helping. You could feel like you're trying to run from a situation that keeps chasing you and the eight of swords reverse, but eight of swords is about a person. They ain't fucking trapped. They free. They can walk away from any situation. They just mentally feel like they can't do anything because they feel like their hands are tied. They feel mentally imprisoned. They feel like blind justice is not working. They feel like they're stuck in a situation. It's very precarious, precarious though. And they feel like they have done nothing to deserve the situation and they want to be released. Somebody could be in prison. Somebody baby mama could be in prison. But the Ace of Cups is about um, you're, you're stuck in love with this person. Um, the Five of Cups, you there will be some um, acceptance or uh, but there's deep regret with this person. Five of Cups reverse could be Mars and Scorpio. Um, I definitely feel like you are really very upset. You're trying to restore the loss that just feels like you can't never get over it. But it's a recent loss, but there will be a regeneration. You will come around. You will have the courage to get over your situation. Now, justice is kind of funny because it's not in favor of Scorpio. I don't know what y'all did, or you could be, this could be the cross watcher, and you could be kind of mixed in, but somebody ass is not a saint. Justice says that someone is going through this emotional, very tumultuous situation, but it's not in a vacuum. It may not all be your fault, but you definitely had something to do with how it ended up. It's not just like, oh, well, you're, whoa, well, Scorpio. No, motherfucker. It's something about you too now. Now, what feels fair will not be fair. And it feels like people are being unfair to you, but it's not. It just says that karma says the outcome is fair. And if you were being honest, you would see. Maybe you were chauvinistic or aggression, aggressive, or maybe you were just blind and you were doing more harm than good, but it says whatever happened was fair and there's nothing that you could do about it. You feel like you've been wronged and there is wrongdoing, but spirit is like, mm, I'm kind of going to look the other way because you kind of did some shit too. So if you are on this side, you know what you did. You need to correct it with spirit. Um, book a session if you want to know what your holdup is and if this is your situation and how to go about it. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hello, Pisces. What's up, babies? All right, so I'm really sorry your video was late. I promise it was no bullshit. I really was getting around to some free readings for the girls on my um, page. I was doing this, um, a little customer appreciation day for those who bought a reading every month since summertime, and I wanted to give back to those people when I gave them a free video reading. I do do free readings on December 1st, on the first of every month, January, February, March, and it is for people randomly, whether you bought something or not, Okay, so you don't have to necessarily be a customer on the first of the month. I pick three people, maybe seven, depending on my energy and space is limited. I might not get to you. Some people, uh, they get picked the third or fourth drawing. So it's four months in, but it is worth it. I promise you. If you can't wait, go ahead and book a session. Uh, I have many sessions that are affordable for your budget. And most people come and talk to me and tell me what they can't afford. I try to give them something that is accommodating. So if you feel like you may not have enough ducats, you might 
actually have enough ducats for something. And maybe you can pay on a reading and we'll figure something out. But I definitely feel like uh, I'm adjustable, I'm affordable. And, you know, if you want to book something and you ain't got the money, I might actually help you manifest it. You never know, baby. I do a lot of Psalms work uh, where I actually petition and help people, you know, make money. Um, you can check out my videos, Psalms um, 26 and 72. Uh, manifestation through by biblical psalms. I use Deuteronomy with my money. Um, I write the Bible verse Deuteronomy 28 8 on the back of my dollar bill and I write my name and the money I want to manifest. I do a lot of biblical Kabbalist petitions, so I'm not like a lot of YouTubers. I don't particularly care for candles, it's not my thing. I mean, I do burn them, but eh, not my thing. I'd rather just um, use the um, biblical psalms and um, prayers in the Bible to pretty much manifest what I need to manifest. All right. So, um, and also I'm a Hebraic reader, so I'm not, I don't work with Orishas. I don't, I'm a naturalist. I don't do any of that. I'm not no shade to anybody else that does. I would love to actually know, learn, learn more about that because I don't know as much as other people, but I am a Kabbalist. Like I, I do a lot of Judaism. So I'm more into the patriarchal religion kind of thing, but not so much because obviously I do cards. Okay. So if you guys want a reading from a different type of perspective or a different type of approach, feel free to approach me um, at Miss April Nicole CEO at SisterGoreadings.com. Um, also, SisterGoreadings.com has a numerous amount of products and services. Check it out. And I have a Facebook page, Sister Girl Readings. Um, all the information will be below. Okay, guys? So let's jump into this reading. And don't forget... I'm not done, y'all. I'm about to do this video on Moni Slaughter. I haven't got around to it, but I will because I'm not done with my celebrity tea. All right, guys. So check that video out because a bitch will be doing it. And she Pisces. All right. Shout out to Moni if she ever watched this video. I have nothing but love for you. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is Pisces going through? Sun, moon, and rising Pisces. Up, oh, three of swords in reverse and seven of cups. Okay, seven of cups, seven of cups. Tomorrow, I'm going to see Mercury and Scorpio, I believe. Um, someone is looking at a lot of options in seven of cups. Someone's looking at a lot. Someone is tempted. Someone is looking at all these different opportunities to do something malicious or... To do what they want to do for a change. That could be Seven of Cups. Um, the Seven of Cups can also be about a person who has temptation to do some decoy shit or some superficial shit. This can also be about temptations. Do they want to go about the righteous path? Do they want to do the right thing? Do they look at all the options and find out what is superficial and what is to temptation? Do they really look at situations um, where they want lust or anger? Or do they want to follow their carnal, lower vibrational energies? Or do they want to go about the right thing? Um, the Seven of Cups can represent pursuing goals for the wrong reasons or um, material temptations. It can also be about the seven daily sins or, you know, a situation um, you shouldn't be choosing anything because it's really Pandora's box and you will get led astray from any choice you make. You are clouded. You are living a mirage and you are very, very um, deluded or you have um, false insecurity. Something is a game here. And the Seven of Cups. Let's see what the game is. What is Seven of Cups for Pisces? Okay. The Fool and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so that is very interesting for that energy. And underneath it, I got the Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles. Okay, let's see here. Um, you're going to walk away from something that's very tempting. You're going to be like, mm, nah, I'm, I'm good. You looked at all the options. You saw them. You thought about them. You weighed them up. And you said, nah, I'm good. You decide that you're not going to take any of them. And Ten of Wands, it's going to be a struggle. So maybe it was hard to walk away from something that was very tempting to do. Maybe you wanted to do some shit to someone. I don't get Seven of Swords, but maybe you felt like you walked away, Saturn and Sagittarius, and that was hard as shit, but you did what you had to do. Um, Let's look here. Nine of Swords, Mars, and motherfucking Gemini. Maybe you were worried um, it says someone that couldn't sleep, someone that has trouble sleeping. 
Um, maybe you were tempted to go on a new journey, but maybe you lost sleep. It could be a new man with the Ace of Wands, a new relationship. But if it is right now, it's too much shit going on and you don't trust nobody. Seven of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. You like, nah, I just went through a lot of shit right now and I don't have time for that. You can keep it pushing, fam. What is the Nine of Swords in the Pisces reading? What is Pisces worried about? What is Pisces worried about? The Nine of Swords. Okay, a lot of minor things. Um, Ace of Pentacles is financial disillusionment or not making enough money or not having enough money to have to, to depend or make it do. Miss opportunities or a financial stagnant energy. The King of Pentacles can be a Taurus person. Maybe you feel that you don't you don't have enough money or you're not going to financially make it. The magician is reversed. You don't have enough energy. You're depressed. Um, or this can also be about a person that's manipulating you for sex. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, and a magician could be someone that is manipulating you. Um, they use money to control you. The Ten of Pentacles can be about arguments with money. So that's why you don't trust this motherfucker because they always got some sneaky shit up their sleeve. Six of Pentacles and Seven of Swords, see? That's that damn taking advantage of situation. So Six of Pentacles can be about someone who feels like they're giving you a good deal, but you like, hell no, nah, ain't no motherfucking good deal, bitch. You looking at the situation like, nah, when did this ever become a good deal? It's shady and unfair. You don't trust any situation that's going to come between you and your livelihood, and this person is playing games with your money or playing games with your time because time is money. This can also be about unpaid colleagues, unpaid debts, people that take advantage of you and string you along and choke you with your own string. This can also be about getting involved with very questionable situations that compromise your um, your reputation. Or a, a payoff is not what you wanted or you're unsatisfied with your money. You can have difficulty balancing your needs or your resources. Or you can feel like your needs aren't being met in a relationship which it should be give and take the seven of swords is about gossip 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 malicious gossip somebody as is gossiping or spreading lies or secrets <coughs> excuse me um this can also be about forfeiting a prize maybe you had an argument maybe you again seven of cups you were tempted you walked away from something it was a lot you were worried about how you were going to make it because it seemed like a very good financial deal. Uh, it was a new opportunity, but it wasn't going to give you the money you wanted, and it was some manipulation involved. And Seven of Pentacles, you didn't trust it. Ten of Pentacles, it would have made your family disappear or fall apart. Or it would have been an argument about it, or it would have separated you guys. It was a over overseas, or <laughs> maybe it was a, um, a job where it would have been far away. The Six of Pentacles... <laughs> Oh, man, I'm sorry, I'm under the weather still. The Six of Pentacles to me is someone that doesn't know to, to the person who feels this way. They feel like you don't know what you got, you should take it. Um, you're on a financial hardship. Maybe you'll be saved from someone else. Someone could be unsaving you from what you've been through. Or someone feels like you're not appreciative of what someone is giving you. Or maybe you are a beggar looking for money and you don't trust people because you're afraid of being gossiped about Seven of Swords. Because Seven of Swords is gossip. Someone is talking shit about you. Or maybe you want people to think that you can handle everything by yourself. Um, that you're fine. Or you're sabotaging yourself. Or you feel like a pariah and you feel like nobody fucks with you. Let's see what that Seven of Swords and that Six of Pentacles is about. There's a lot of earth energy here. I get Taurus and Taurus by itself. Yeah. Let's see if we get any devils or anything. What is Six of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles? I'm sorry, Seven of Swords? Oh, shit. Okay. All right. So, Eight of, eight of Wands. I'm sorry, Eight of Cups is about a person who's drifting. The title in the world. Someone is going to be offered something. A contract. Eight of Cups can be about... Um, Someone that they're just, someone's homeless, maybe. Someone could be homeless or drifting or they have no aim. Um, someone is chasing the money. They don't no longer want to be spiritual. They're drifting or they are afraid to drift or they're wandering. They're looking for a place called home. They're a weary person. They don't have a home. They're homeless again. 
They're looking for peace. So you may have to leave home for this job if you're getting a new one. But this job entitles success and fortune and fame. So that's not bad. I mean, you got you got a really good situation here. This can also be about you going back to an offer, okay? You could be going back to something. You could be going back and doubling back to an offer, and you're worried about people gossiping about you. Um, it could be a shady offer. Um, you're not really sure if it's going to pay off. And the Ten of Pentacles reverse, um, it's going to cause a lot of drama or financial sh uh, fights. What is the Ten of Pentacles reverse? The Three of Cups. Okay, so maybe some type of party, promotion. Um, three of Cups can also be about friendships. Maybe you invested a lot in someone and um, they're not giving you anything in return with the Six of Pentacles. And um, it's just a lot of old baggage. And you're not, you're not even sure if you want to invest in this anymore because it's like leaving you where you feel like it's not going to produce anything lucrative and you're just over it with the world. Okay, so let's see. Give me some more um, information about Pisces for the mid-November to the end. That's for some Pisces people. Okay, I've got the five of swords at the top. Someone is making apologies or they're changing something. The King of Wands is a fire sign person, could be a Leo, um, could be getting an apology from someone, a father figure, or a very attractive man, or someone could be giving up something. Um, let's see, what is the Five of Swords reverse in the King of Wands of Bright? What is, for Pisces, what is the Five of Swords in the King of Wands of Bright? Someone is forfeiting something. Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Someone is turning down something. A new beginning of theirs stardom could be a celebrity the nine of cups um something is ill-gotten something isn't right um nine of cups is about mm, something's too materialistic what is the nine of cups reverse it's somebody's wish but it doesn't it comes with too much what is the nine of cups reverse um yeah the sun and eight of cups someone is yeah, the hero font reverse and the temperance reverse. Okay, some some of you guys, Seven of Swords is coming out too. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus or even a Leo. Um, yeah, Aquarius is here too. So someone is gonna forfeit something. They're forfeiting their happiness or they're forfeiting stardom. The King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, someone is sexually attracted to someone that's a star or someone that is combining or going on a new path or becoming a star or going through something that is going to change their lives. It could be about a wish that's ill-gotten. Um, again, I say ill-gotten because someone could feel like you don't really deserve it. Like they feel like you don't, you always get what you want because you're lucky or something. Um, it does say here that you're an extrovert. A man, the King of Wands is married or he's very attractive, but he's quick tempered, judgmental. Um, he's, he wants everybody to be like him. And if you're not like him, he's got an attitude. So he's got a complex about him. I don't like his ass anyway. <laughs> but anyways, um, someone is going, again, someone is forfeiting a, a new adventure or a an opportunity or enterprise that could be very creative or lucrative. And it could really help. Uh, I get fights about money. Maybe somebody doesn't want someone to take the opportunity because they don't trust their husband or their boyfriend. Um seven of swords and you feel like there's someone cheating or lying but um someone is going to get a restoration of mental health or hope there are going to be so many opportunities coming and not just about material but spiritual abundance someone could be a writer or a researcher or academic someone could be very optimistic and someone could be leaving behind a very good legacy or a good future someone could be really um going into historic knowledge Someone could be restoring their lives, going through spiritual guidance, through empowerment. Someone could be um, coming from within with the divine guidance and giving to people. Someone could really be a spiritual counselor. Someone could be highly intelligent. Um, I do feel like with the star, it's just like you can't go anywhere up but here. The star in the cherry is about celebrity hood, but I do get stardom or someone forfeit a very good lucrative position 
Um, I do feel like they, they did it because they felt that they didn't deserve it. Because nine of nine of cups can be either two things. A instant rich situations where people forgot where they come from. Um, someone that thinks too highly of themselves and they're looking for gratification. Someone that is temporarily being materialistic. Or someone that is going to lose everything. So, you, some of you guys may be coming into a wish to work with someone, but you're going to lose all of it. You got this fame with the sun card. Someone is being acknowledged or someone is getting accolades. That sun card is bright, like attainment. Someone is getting attainment. Someone is going through a very good situation where their marriage is going to be great. They're going to have a power couple relationship. They're going to have a high achievement in arts and sciences. Their, any negative situations are going to disappear. They're going to gain public recognition. They're going to be noticed. Um, they're going to have all these affirmations and, and it's going to work out for them. But they're still drifting. Eight of Cups looking for a home. Maybe they're homeless. It could, you could have a, fa a famous homeless person. That is weird. Or someone that is very well known, but they don't have anything to, to call their own. Um, Hero Fun is here. Could be dealing with the Taurus or a Scorpio reversed. But um, the Hero Fun is a person who challenges authority. They're not like everybody else. They're, um, they look for freedom and liberation. Um, they are against the, the majority. They're the minority. They don't really care what people think. They don't care what's right and what's wrong. They have a non-traditional aspect of how they look at things. Um, they just, they just again, they're more into going about what they want, going against status quo. Someone could be drifting from their religious beliefs. They are famous, but it's not exactly what they want religiously. The, the temperance card can be about imbalances, spiritual imbalances, and seven of swords can be about lies. Someone could be doing something and they could get them famous, but it's not what they want or they're not happy with it and they just live a facade of a life. Let's see. Let's see. Anything else for Pisces? This is it's getting juicy, y'all. Anything else for Pisces? Pisces got some juice, juice. We got that juice. Six of, ooh, six of Pentacles business someone giving some someone some money queen of pentacles could be a capricorn cancer um the money ain't enough ace of pentacles or it's a disillusionment it's just not enough and the king of pentacles here i just keep getting sag and, and taurus because even with the queen of pentacles she's a sag cap and the king the king of pentacles is a aries taurus um someone is someone is chasing the money Someone is too preoccupied with finances. Someone really wants the money to come in and they're stuck. They, they're stuck on or they're dependent on other people for money. They don't make their own way or they're trying to or a material gain that seems very fleeting, but it's unfulfilling and irrelevant. They, they, they feel like it's too little. It doesn't make them happy. It's a false sense of security. Nothing planned out. Nothing went the way they planned. Someone took advantage of them in the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a greedy narcissist. He's a horrible business person. He's corrupt. He bribes people. He's engaging in things that make you go against who you are. He wants wealth, but he doesn't work hard for it. Or he could be a very um, narcissistic father or older male or boss that is very mean to you. Two of Pentacles, you could be juggling him. You could be a side dude. I hope not, girl. Fuck that. Dump his ass. Um, but you're over prioritized. You have a lot of things you're trying to do at once and you're having a hard time concentrating. Um, you're being led astray by people to do financial stupid shit financially. So who is the King of Pentacles? Let's see who these people are. Who is the King of Pentacles or what are they to Pisces? Who is? Five of Cups can be a disappointment. Who is the King of Pentacles? Oh, some cards. It's like skirt. The devil reverse could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer. Judgment. Definitely some somebody's breaking free from something. Could be about um, leaving a relationship or a court case that you're getting out of. Um, the knave of <coughs> the knave of wands is about a job that could be a lot. You went into it, but it it wasn't. It it was not what you hoped. 
that could be um scorpio could be working with a scorpio or a taurus again it's taurus right here these two people same people who is the queen of pentacles the pisces it could be you the chariot okay so someone is moving on knave of pentacles someone feels like they don't have the energy or they're financially go digger let's see someone can feel like they don't have what it takes or they're not very happy about the opportunity also um the hermit can be about someone that doesn't listen they did their hard ad make a soft ass and they they really suffer from their decisions and, and it's it's really unfortunate it, it affects their relationship and their home life and um they lost they, they lost their husband or they lost a boyfriend or they lost a father figure um they got all this money but things didn't work out the way they wanted to so be careful you might be enticed with a whole bunch of money but it comes with a whole bunch of bullshit that isn't worth it and if it's really the dream of a lifetime it won't come with so much bullshit okay so just be careful what you sign up for and the ending energy for pisces because that's intense oh shit same cards kind of pop up knight of pentacles could be dealing with the virgo um knight of wands um two knights is never good fighting and arguing drama someone is here the virgo is here twice could be dealing. We definitely could be dealing with a virgo someone could be giving you money or someone could be broke someone wants you to juggle and make bad decisions this virgo is very bad for you you should leave this virgo person alone they want you to move in with them maybe but no yeah it's just they're gonna use you and do you wrong okay so be careful of who you choose to deal with coming out of Mercury Retrograde. We're in the Mercury Retrograde shadow. Okay, guys? All right. It's been a pleasure, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Now, if this is your situation, before we leave this reading, y'all need to book a session. It is no way that y'all should be suffering in silence and knowing that y'all got these problems and y'all don't want help with them. There's no point listening to readings if you're not going to get the answers for your unique situation for you to get better. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get those answers, but you do have to give something to get something back. The world is about exchange of energies, and what you give in is what you give out. If you're really trying to put energy into focusing on fixing your situation, absolutely, you'll get the re resolution you're looking for. But but if you're constantly just analyzing, oh, well, I don't want to invest in this and I don't want to invest in that, but I want to get something for and for nothing in return, then you're going to get the same results you've been getting, which is nothing for something, which is nothing. Whatever you've, whatever you've gotten that has really paid off, you worked for, or you've done something to attract it. And if you're expecting the handout from the universe after no work and no effort or not even a interest, a genuine interest, then how can you accept how can you expect the universe to reciprocate that? I mean, you got to give something. So don't, like, you don't cheat. You know, you don't want to be cheated by your job when you go to work, or you don't want to be cheated by your friends and family when you give them emotional love and care, and they don't get nothing to you in return. Do the same to others, and do the same for yourself. Like, give to yourself and put investment energy into what you truly want, and that may be getting a session because you don't have the right tools to fix your life. Your life's fucked up. Or there's an aspect of your life that you would like to improve. Or there could be a relationship that keeps hindering your progress and progression and growth and expansion. And you can't vibrate because you got this situation where it's at a detriment to you. So definitely, if you need to, book a session and I will see you guys later.